And welcome back to the show. Well, this month, Choices for Youth launched a holiday giving campaign, 25 days of inspiration and 25 stories of hope. Choices for Youth have been uh, helping at-risk youth in our community for over 20 years in various capacities. And here to tell us more about how they and you can change lives for young people in our community is Ayan Shahed, and he's the Senior Manager of Fund and Development and Communications uh, with Choices for Youth. Uh, welcome to Out of Fog. Thanks for having me. And it's great to have you here. So I guess, you know, before we get into this uh, campaign, just tell us a little bit about Choices for Youth. Absolutely. So Choices for Youth is a local organization, and we work with at-risk and homeless youth in St. John's. There's a tremendous need in St. John's to help the at-risk youth in our community to help them secure housing, employment, and education. We are focused on those three things as our key life factors, and we try to help them secure those things. So over the past 20 years, that's what we've been doing. We've seen tons of success, but there's also a huge need. Um, when we look at those three key factors, education, employment, and housing, we like to think that those are the three critical things for anybody to succeed. So whether it's me, whether it's you, whether it's somebody on the street, mm -hmm. those three things is what's gonna set you up for achieving your potential. We look at that and we think of a housing first approach. So housing being absolutely fundamental to being able to pursue those things. If you think of housing, it's so much more than just a roof over your head. It's a place to stay, it's a place to secure your things, it's a place to wash your clothes, it's a place to get ready, it's a place to feel safe and secure and call home. Mm -hmm. So we really operate on that housing first model. And with all of our youth, with all of our programs, that's our first goal. Get them into a housing, get them to stay there, um, and help them maintain that and then work towards education and employment opportunities. Um, there's been obviously there's been so much growth within the organization over the, the past 20 years but in terms of you know in terms of the critical need um, how you know on average like what are we looking at is the, is the need growing here in our community is it, is it yep, coming down? absolutely so to give you a sense of the numbers this past year uh, we've looked at, we've had 700 unique individuals come through our doors at choices and that's just through our outreach center so that's where we have our hot meals and we do all of our referrals and check-ins there and people coming through those doors kind of filter out to our other programs. 700 people in one year. This year, in the first eight months, we're already over 700. We're on trend to hit over 1,000 people this year. Mm -hmm. And so the need is definitely there. The need is definitely growing. I mean, St. John's is, is, is a hub in Newfoundland Labrador. We have a lot of youth coming from across the province, but there's also a, a lot of youth here that are just struggling. When, they, when, you, when we talk about homelessness, it's more than people on the street. So it's people with unsafe, unstable living conditions the people who are on the street, there's people who are couch surfing, people who are kind of just trying to find a way to find that stability. So our role is to take them in, give them that stability, give them that support to help them secure housing. Do you think it's uh, sometimes challenging when you're, you know, when we're not necessarily like in, in bigger centers in Canada, we're not face to face with homelessness uh, all the time. Do you think that sometimes is, you know, some, a little bit of out of sight, out of mind? Absolutely. I think it's hard to always remember that, especially during the holidays. We get caught up in everything that we're doing and we're celebrating so many things to, to talk about here. You know, but at the end of the day, these youth are there, you know, and whether we see it or not, they exist. So it's important to remember that. Mm -hmm. I like to think, you know, whether we think about it or not, if, at the end of the day, if you believe in potential of individuals, then you probably believe in these at-risk youth. Myth of at-risk youth, at-risk youth are fundamentally youth. You know, so if, if you can look out and you see a youth and you believe in them and you want to help them, it's the exact same thing if you see someone on the street, it's the exact same thing if it's someone that you haven't thought about but is struggling day to day with mental health or housing. Okay, uh, tell us a bit more about this campaign that we mentioned off the uh, top of our, of our interview there. Absolutely, so we're running a holiday campaign called 25 Stories of Hope, 25 Days of Inspiration. And the premise behind it is this fundamental belief at the organization that everybody has potential no matter where you're coming from, everyone has potential. Everyone has that idea of a vision where they want to get to and we can help them get there. So these 25 days is really about celebrating that hope because some of these young people that I've met, you know, no matter how hard things are, whether it's mental health, addictions, family trauma, childhood trauma, poverty, they're some of the most resilient people I've met. They have a vision of where they want to go, they have a dream of what they want to become, and they're willing to work for that. Mm -hmm. So we want to celebrate that excitement, that hope, that opportunity, that possibility. Um, you know, we could spend a ton of time talking about the reality and the problems, and we have to face that. You know, that's the foundation of how do we figure out what needs to be done. But where it's really exciting and where it's really, you know, put the potential arises is when we think about what's possible. And so over these 25 days, December 1st to December 25th, we're really trying to celebrate that hope. So over 25 days, we're releasing a story every single day. 
Uh, some of them are items to give you a sense of what the need is. Some of them are stories from our program directors or directly from our youth to talk about their programs and their experiences. Um, so it's, it's a way to kind of engage the community in the work that we're doing. Um, and we're also hoping to mobilize resources for the work we're doing as well in this way. Right. Uh, I guess if you can give us a sense of, I know that uh, I, I've seen some of the videos and of course there is, the, essentially there's a calendar and you can mm -hmm. click on it and so you can see the videos and different ways to give. Um, what do you think, you know, what is it exactly that you really want? What's the message that you want to deliver to our community when they see these these videos? I think that there's a, there's a few messages. The, the first is that, you know, these youth have hope and if we work with them, we can help cultivate and nourish that hope. And ultimately, that's going to help them build their confidence and give them a belief in their own capacity to reach their own potential. You know, if the community can rally behind individuals, they're going to succeed. So that's the, probably the primary message. And, and that's the point of these 25 days of stories. Um, now, the second piece is to really acknowledge that the problem exists. You know, problem exists, but there's solutions out there. You know, it's not just here's a problem and get down about it. It's here's a problem and here's an organization that's trying to do something about it. We know what we're doing. We've been around for 20 years and we're trying to figure this out. We're trying to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And so those are two of the core messages. And then finally, you know, how can you help? So all of the different gift ideas, all the different videos are an idea of what the need is, how you can contribute, whether you want to donate funds, whether you want to bring a jacket for somebody or buy boots for somebody. It's an idea of, you know, how can I as an individual help make a change. Okay, well, and we're going to leave it there. I want to thank you very much for joining for sure. us tonight. Of course, if anybody wants a first-hand look at uh, these 25 days of inspiration and hope, where can they get in touch? So it's www.25storiesofhope.com and you can donate right on the site and every single day there'll be a different piece of content and you can browse through all the content that's been released so far uh, right down on the calendar there. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much awesome. and all the best. Merry thank Christmas. You so much. Yeah, you too. Okay, we are going to take a very short break. Stay with us. Still lots more to come here on Out of the Fog.